Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Hahn, Dermatologist and Medical Director at Zion Health. Here we get a lot of questions about creatine and its impact on possible hair loss. So let's dive in to see what the evidence shows. First of all, what is creatine? Creatine is a naturally occurring substance that our body uses primarily by muscles as an energy source. It is created by our organs, particularly the liver, the kidneys, and our pancreas, but half of it actually also comes from our diet. So does creatine cause hair loss? For now, creatine doesn't actually seem to cause hair loss, at least not directly. Since hair loss has been linked to some performance enhancing substances, it's reasonable to assume that creatine may also do this as well. While there is limited studies available, there is one study that looked at creatine and DHT levels. In this study, they looked at DHT levels after a loading dose of creatine for seven days. And they did find that these study participants did have higher levels of DHT. Now we know that DHT or dihydrotestosterone is important for development of male pattern hair loss in those that are genetically predisposed. Therefore, it's reasonable to assume that increased levels of DHT may predispose to balding in these individuals. However, the study didn't actually look at hair loss directly and the DHT levels were actually higher, but within physiologic range. So in studies like this, it's important to keep in mind that even though that a DHT level increase was seen, and this has been implicated in male pattern hair loss, it's important to see that clinically there may not be that much relevance. That's because hair loss was not looked at and conclusions cannot be finalized without further research. The bottom line is there doesn't seem to be a direct link with creatine use and male pattern hair loss. So if you are experiencing hair loss, it's important to speak to a professional about this as there may be other underlying causes.